Hello, I'm Aileen from AileenCooks.com and I am here to show you an awesome recipe for a slow cooker meal. It's very easy. It's using Cajun seasoning, which I'm in love with. It's from McCormick. Um, it's the only brand I've used, but I'm sure other brands work too. So what we're going to make today is Cajun sausage and potatoes. So I'm going to just go ahead and let you see me making this. So you can see I've got my potatoes here and my sausage. So I'm just going to chop up these potatoes. They do not, they're russet potatoes. It's three pounds and they don't need to be chopped real fine. Just nice and thick. They're a big part of the meal. So you don't want them to be too small. You want them to stay chunky and they'll be perfectly cooked after cooking in the slow cooker all day. So I'm just cutting these up. Like I mentioned, this is Cajun sausage and potatoes. It's just five ingredients and really delicious. It's, you know, it's family friendly. It is a little bit spicy because we use andouille sausage. The Cajun seasoning, we don't use a lot of, but the andouille sausage itself does have some, have a little bit of kick. So, you know, if your kids really don't like spicy stuff, this might not be the recipe for them, but my kids ate it and, uh, you know, we loved it, it's absolutely delicious. So I'm just throwing these right into my crock pot, which is actually a slow, uh, Hamilton Beach slow cooker is the one I have and I love. And it's like the take away kind you can see over here, it clamps on so you can actually bring it with you. So the next thing we're gonna do, that was three pounds of russet potatoes. The next thing we have is a pound and a half of andouille sausage. And this is just a smoked sausage and I'm just slicing it up. Um, usually it's a smoked pork sausage. This one I bought from Trader Joe's and it's chicken. I've done it with both and uh, the chicken sausage is still absolutely delicious. It's still sausage and it's spiced really well and it has a really good texture. So you just want to slice these up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. They don't have to be super small. You just throw them in there. Got three more to do. And you can also get this recipe on my website, aileencooks.com. And I am including the link to the recipe in the notes section. And if you like slow cooker recipes, I actually have an ebook I'm offering to all of my readers for free that has 10 slow cooker dinner recipes in it that you can download and look at on your Kindle or you can print it out. It's really convenient. Um, and they're all tried and true recipes, all recipes I make for my family that I've made many, many times. So if you like ebooks, just click on the other link that I'm going to include in the notes, and that one will be for the ebook. Okay, I'm back. So we have three pounds of russet potatoes and one and a half pounds of andouille sausage. The next thing we're going to add in is a sweet onion. I already chopped it up. Just make sure it's sweet. That's important. So I'm going to put that in my slow cooker. And cream of mushroom soup. I love Trader Joe's. They have cream of mushroom soup right now. It's in a box, but the can is the same thing, or you can make your own. So you just want to pour this in there. And it's, you know, it's goopy, but we're going to mix it around. It gives it a nice sauce. It mixes in with the Cajun seasoning very nicely. And the last thing we're going to add is, I'll show you again, it's the McCormick Perfect Pinch Cajun seasoning. And we're going to use a teaspoon, which isn't a lot, um, and this is actually a half teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm going to do two, but it is one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. And as I mentioned, the andouille sausage adds in a really nice flavor. So the last thing we're going to do is just mix it up. I'm going to show you the inside of my slow cooker here so you can see. It's all in there. We're going to mix it up just so that the sauce and the spices are coating the potatoes the onion and the, the sausage and it'll give it a nice sauce and flavor and when this comes out the potatoes will be tender they won't be too mushy they'll just be tender the, the onion gives it a really nice flavor as I mentioned it's a sweet onion so that's all you just cook it and you want to cook this on low for six to eight hours and you can get the full recipe at aileencooks.com and if you're interested in more slow cooker recipes, please sign up for my newsletter and I will send you a free slow cooker ebook. Thank you so much.